What's up my construction entrepreneurs? Tyrone Jones here with Construction Entrepreneur School and Services. There go the dogs right there. Got the um cigar going. Definitely a re relaxing time. Hey, so wanted to jump on here to uh to talk about uh give you guys another story here man and i think uh with stories man it kind of helps um getting through times especially solutions because that that be the main reason why we can survive it's hearing what people have went through uh and sometimes going through uh, what you go through and surviving through it, right? And uh, sharing it is is the best thing because once you share it, then if someone picks it up and really learns from it, they don't have to go through it as well. Or they can look back on this video and be like, you know what? My boy T went through that. I ain't going through that again. Okay. So um, I remember years ago, man. Um, I used to go and visit jobs, right? This is when I, I didn't understand about um, estimating and really bidding and uh, uh, my how much I'm worth and and how much I should be charging. I really didn't understand any of that stuff. You know, I had a hard time with with that. And I remember I used to go and visit houses, and before I even gave a bid, I beat myself up. So customers would call me and say, hey, come by, look at it. We want a, a concrete patio. I'm like, all right, schedule a time. We, I go out there. When I get to the house, I'm already deciding by the way they house look, if how much money they can afford to do the patio for. Now, listen, the problem with that is this. I'm not trying to figure out, look at the house like, oh, how much can I charge them? No, I'm like, how much lesser do can I charge them? That's what I'm trying to look at, right? So I'm looking at, oh, man, the roof looks like it's going to need to be changed in a, in a few years. Oh, man, they ain't, they ain't going to want to pay real high on concrete. Oh, man, there's a broken down car in the driveway. And it looks like it's wrapped. Oh, so they're trying to take care of it, but it is, it's on all four flats, you know? Oh, there's all stains in the driveway. So someone's car is leaking oil, man. Oh, is that a window unit for a house? Oh, they got a window unit in the house. They got a window AC unit for their house. So I look at all that. And when I go in there and I go in the backyard, measure up the concrete they need. In the back of my head, I'm already taking off hundreds by the way they house look because I want to get I want to get the job but I'm beating myself up before they can even say no have you guys done that I beat myself up before they can even say no let me go get my coffee here so I'm doing the, now I looked at all that. Now I do the bid. Now when I do the bid, I, I do it um, as if how much it's going to cost, right? Having an espresso with my uh, cigar. It's pretty good. It gives me a new taste almost every time I pull. So it's pretty good. Um, so I do the bid. And then as I do the bid, then I start taking off. Oh, you know what? I can do that. And not, I I literally take off money. I think during that time, people were getting paid like 150 to 180 a day or something like that. It wasn't up to what is up now, where it's, you know, we're paying guys 350 a day, 450 a day, and all that. No, finishers were 200 to 250 a day back in those days. Uh, a labor, uh, 100, 150 to 180 a day. That's what it was, man. So what I'll do is I'll take off that labor price and say, hey, you know what? I'll do that work. So like uh, 
uh, you know, let's say we're doing some rod busting for some footings and uh, bend and rebar. You know what? I, I won't even have a guy do it. I'll do it, right? I'll, I'll do it. And uh, I, so I'll start taking off tasks and putting it on me and not having the labor to do it. So I'll take off almost 500 bucks and give them the price. And then once you give them the price, and then once you give them the price, the homeowner comes to me and says, hey, so-and-so came lower and I want to give you the job. Can you take off 300 bucks? And I wind up accepting that. Sometimes I don't, most times I do, I don't remember. But I do recall, you know, reducing my price by 500 bucks. Now, when I got smarter in it and I realized like, you know what, I'm not making no money. Uh, one of the bigger things I was never putting in there uh, that I used to get taxed with was um, taxes for um, not, 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 not business taxes, but it was uh, material taxes, right? I used to say, oh, two by four was two dollars and 40 cents instead of two dollars and instead of three dollars whatever it was right so i was never putting tax onto the material so that was eating away at everything you know uh i was never putting really a, a correct amount of fuel costs in there so that was eating away at everything and that's why at the end of the job my wife would say hey i thought you was making 1100 on this job and you only made four hundred dollars. Well, on those jobs that uh, that I was giving breaks on, come to find out, I wasn't making anything, man. I was already beating myself up in the beginning of the job, man. Before the owner even could beat me up, because they were beating me up already. I'll, I'll I'll just beat myself up more. That's ridiculous. It was ridiculous, man. And if you guys are out there starting out and you're doing this. Stop. Stop. One of the other things I, I would say stop doing this uh, as as the owner, as the one getting the jobs, as stop buying everybody lunch, too, unless you have it in the bed. Stop buying everybody lunch, man. That's another thing that if it's not in the bed, then it comes from your bottom line. OK, so that was one of the uh, major things is I go out to these jobs beat myself up on the cost and then they, and then try to expect to make a whole bunch of money <laughs> looking at how their house is set up man looking at how they got things laid out looking at what's broken at their house man oh, man cost me a lot of money man avoid doing that avoid doing it okay uh that means stop doing it know your value know what you're going to charge you know have a minimum amount that your company is going to make a day see there was a thing i used to say before uh profit are not wages and wages are not profits okay profit are not wages wages is not profit what i mean by that is that a lot of guys out here doing this do, doing these works or side jobs or you know just regular jobs that they're doing they're not charging a profit for their company they literally charging their daily wage and that's how they're able to land so many jobs because they're the cheapest on the market so if you're the cheapest on the market you're not really building a company you're not really trying to build uh a company and and um and grow you just literally uh working as a labor earning your daily wage and that become the biggest problem is that if you're out there working to earn your daily wage instead of having the company pay you your wage while the company makes a profit what are you what are you building what are you at and that's the point you need to get to uh um you know having the right customers that's going to pay you for your company to make money and also pay you your wage as you're working out there in the field Okay, because there's nothing wrong with if you start not working out there in the field, work out there in the field, get it done. You know, sometimes I'm out there. Sometimes I'm not. It all depends on the type of job we got going. Um, I'm always trying to visit jobs and be out there, but I'm also making sure that my company is is uh, uh, on the overhead side that I'm collecting some type of pay. 
and that's what you have to do. So back in the day, that was so hurtful. I was not, that's, that was the reason why it took me so long to level up because I was beating myself up before the customer can even beat me up. And then I allowed the customer to beat me up. Man, we got to stop that, man. I'm going to let you guys go with that. Let me know what you learned from that. Let me know if you're out there doing the same thing. Let me know if you change from doing the same thing. Let me know if you can relate to me. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, and share this video because there's other contractors out there that's having a hard time. And let's get them out that. Let's get them out that hard time bucket. My construction entrepreneurs, hustle hard, then hustle harder. Catch you guys on the next one.